Sondland, do you regret doing the President's bidding, Mr Sondland? The star witness arrived with a smile on his face and a surprise in store. If you would please rise and raise your right hand, I will begin by swearing you in. Once under oath, Gordon Sondland read out a stunning statement detailing a broad Trump administration plot to pressure Ukraine. Everyone was in the loop. It was no secret. He says the president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, the vice president, Mike Pence, and the secretary of state, Mike Pompeo, were among those aware that Donald Trump wanted his Ukrainian counterpart, Vladimir Zelensky, to announce two investigations. One into a discredited conspiracy theory that Ukraine, not Russia, meddled in the 2016 US election, and a second involving one of his leading political rivals, Joe Biden, and his son, Hunter. Who would benefit from from an investigation of the Bidens. I assume President Trump would benefit. There we have it, see? Ambassador Sondland also testified the Ukrainian president would only get a coveted visit to the White House if he agreed to announce the investigations. And he says he came to conclude US military aid to the nation had been put on hold as additional leverage, an act Democrats believe is serious enough to warrant impeaching the president. It goes right to the heart of the issue of bribery, uh, as well as other potential uh, high crimes or misdemeanors. Ambassador Sondland is hardly the perfect witness. He's already changed his story once. You don't have your notes because you didn't take notes. You don't have a lot of recollections. I mean, this is the, the like the trifecta of unreliability. But the wealthy hotelier donated a million dollars to the president's inauguration fund before being made the top US envoy to the European Union. So suggestions he's just some kind of fringe disgruntled diplomat hold no weight at all. Bombshell is probably an overused term these days, but by any measure, this was a big moment in these impeachment proceedings. And this testimony has blown a huge hole in the Republican Party's defence of its president. Donald Trump continues to claim he didn't want anything from Ukraine. I want nothing. I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. But today's testimony implicated the Commander-in-Chief directly and puts his allies in a much more difficult position. James Glenday, ABC News, Washington.